solutions and colligative properties introduction mixing of non reacting substances results in three types of mixtures a coarse mixture a colloidal dispersion and a true solution solution a solution is defined as a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances whose composition can be varied within certain limits every solution contains solvent and one or more solutes the component which is present in larger proportion is termed as solvent and the component which is present in smaller proportion is called the solute for example a small amount of sugar is dissolved in excess of water a homogeneous solution in water is obtained in this solution sugar molecules act as a solute and water molecules act as a solvent solutions containing 2 3 or 4 components are termed as binary tertiary and quaternary solutions respectively types of solutions a chart of different types of solutions is given below gaseous solution when a gas is used as a solvent it is called a gaseous solution when liquid and solid is used as a solvent it is called liquid solution and solid solution respectively concentration of solution it is defined as the amount of solute present in a given amount of solvent therefore concentration is equal to amount of solute upon volume of solution following are the ways expressing concentration percentage it is expressed in two ways weight by weight and volume by volume percentage of mass weight by weight the mass of solute in gram present in 100 grams of solution is termed as percentage by mass percentage by mass weight by weight is equal to mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100 which is equal to mass of solute upon into bracket mass of solute plus mass of solvent bracket complete into 100 percentage by volume is when the constituent components are liquid then the concentration of the component are expressed in terms of percentage by volume v by v percentage by volume is equal to volume of solute upon volume of solution into 100 which is equal to volume of solute upon into bracket volume of solute plus volume of solvent bracket complete into 100 mole fraction it is defined as the ratio of the number of moles of solute present in the solution to the total number of moles of the solute and the solvent present in the solution thus mole fraction of a solvent x1 is equal to moles of the solute upon into bracket moles of solute plus moles of solvent bracket complete therefore x1 is equal to n1 upon n1 plus n2 where n1 is equal to number of moles of solvent and n2 is equal to number of moles of solute mole fraction of solute x2 is equal to n2 upon n1 plus n2 mole fraction of solute plus mole fraction of solvent is equal to 1 thus x1 plus x2 is equal to n1 upon n1 plus n2 plus n2 upon n1 plus n2 which is equal to 1 molarity it is defined as the number of moles of solute present in 1 liter of the solution molarity m is equal to number of moles of solute upon volume of solution in liters molarity m is equal to mass of solute upon molar mass of solute into volume of the solution in liters m is equal to mass of solute upon molar mass of solute into volume of solution in liters into 1000 m is equal to mass of solute upon molar mass of solute into volume of solution in centimeter cube into 1000 the unit of molarity is mole upon dm cube it changes with temperature 
Molarity M is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 kg of solvent. Molarity M is equal to number of moles of solute upon mass of solvent in kilograms, which is equal to mass of solute upon molar mass of solute into mass of solvent in kilograms, which is equal to mass of solute upon molar mass of solute into mass of solvent in grams into 1000. The unit of molarity M is mole per kilogram. It is independent of temperature. Normality N. It is defined as the number of gram equivalents of the solute present in 1 dm cube of solution. Normality N is equal to number of gram equivalents of the solute upon volume of solution in dm cube, which is equal to mass of solute in gram upon gram equivalent weight of solute into volume of solution in cm cube. Parts per million ppm The concentration of solute present in trace quantity is conveniently expressed in ppm. ppm is the mass or volume of the solute in gram or cm cube per 10 raised to 6 grams or 10 raised to 6 centimeter cube of the solution. Parts per million is equal to mass or volume of solute upon total mass or volume of solution into 10 raised to 6. Colligative properties. The properties of solution which depend on only the number of solute particles in a solution and do not depend on its nature are called colligative properties. These are relative lowering of vapor pressure, elevation of boiling point, depression of freezing point and osmotic pressure. All liquids exhibit tendency of evaporation. Liquid escapes from an open vessel by evaporation. If the vessel is closed, the process of evaporation continues. The molecule of liquid escaping from the surface of the liquid remains in the container above the surface of the liquid. These molecules are in continuous motion colliding with each other and with the wall of the container and also with the surface of the liquid and return to the liquid state. This is called condensation. After some time interval when the rate of evaporation equals the rate of condensation an equilibrium is established. Vapor pressure. The pressure exerted by the vapors of the liquid above the liquid surface in equilibrium with the liquid at a constant temperature is called vapor pressure. Lowering of vapor pressure. When a non-volatile solute is dissolved in a solvent to form a solution, the vapor pressure of the solution decreases. The addition of non-volatile solute decreases the number of solvent molecules at the surface as some of the solute particles occupy part of the surface area. Therefore, number of solvent molecules escaping the surface decreases, which in turn decreases the vapor pressure of the solution. If P10 is the vapor pressure of pure solvent and P is the vapor pressure of solution of non-volatile solute in the same solvent, then the lowering of vapor pressure delta P is equal to delta P is equal to P10 minus P. Relative lowering of vapor pressure is delta P upon P10 is equal to P10 minus P upon P10. Raoult's Law it states that the partial vapor pressure of any volatile component of a solution is the product of the vapor pressure of that pure component and the mole fraction of the component in the solution. Consider a solution containing two volatile components A1 and A2 with mole fractions of X1 and X2 respectively. Let P10 and P20 be the vapor pressures of pure components A1 and A2 respectively. According to Raoult's law, the partial vapor pressures P1 and P2 of two components is given by P1 is equal to P10x and P2 is equal to P20x2. Pt is equal to P1 plus P2 which is equal to P10x1 plus P20x2 where Pt is total pressure. For binary solution, x1 plus x2 is equal to 1 or x2 is equal to 1 minus x1. 
Hence, Pt is equal to P10 x1 plus P20 into bracket 1 minus x1 bracket complete, which is equal to P10 x1 plus P20 minus P20x, which is equal to P20 plus into bracket P10 minus P20 bracket complete x1. Raoult's law for non-volatile solutes. The relative lowering of vapor pressure of dilute solutions containing a non-volatile, non-electrolyte solute is equal to the mole fraction of the solute. Therefore, lowering of vapor P, delta P upon P10 is equal to P10 minus P upon P10, which is equal to P10 x2 upon P10, which is equal to x2. Molar mass of solute and relative lowering of vapor pressure. Let W2 grams of solute of molar mass M2 be dissolved in W1 grams of solvent of molar mass M1. Hence, number of moles of solvent N1 and number of moles of solute N2 in the solution are given as N1 is equal to W1 upon M1 and N2 is equal to W2 upon M2. The mole fraction of the solute X2 is given by X2 is equal to N2 upon N1 plus N2 which is equal to W2 upon M2 upon W1 upon M1 plus W2 upon M2. Delta P upon P10 is equal to P20 minus P upon P10 which is equal to X2 which is equal to W2 upon M2 upon W1 upon M1 plus W2 upon M2. For dilute solution, N1 is greater than N2. Hence, N2 may be neglected. Delta P upon P10 is equal to N2 upon N1, which is equal to W2 upon M2 upon W1 upon M1, which is equal to W2 M1 upon W1 M2. Determination of molecular weight of solute by Ostwald Walker method. P10 minus P upon P10 is equal to W2 M1 upon M2 W1, which is equal to W1 upon W1 plus W2, where W1 is equal to loss in the mass of solvent. W2 is equal to loss in the mass of solution. Boiling point elevation. Boiling point. It is defined as the temperature at which the vapor pressure of liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure. Elevation of boiling point. When a non-volatile solute is added to the solvent, its vapor pressure decreases. Hence, the temperature at which the solution reaches the atmospheric pressure is higher. That is, the boiling point is raised. Thus, the boiling point of the solution is higher than the boiling point of the solvent. Elevation of boiling point is defined as the difference between the boiling points of solution and that of pure solvent. Delta Tb is equal to T minus T0, where delta Tb is equal to elevation of boiling point. T is equal to boiling point of solution. T0 is equal to boiling point of pure solvent. Delta Tb is equal to Kb into W2 into 1000 upon M into W1. Therefore, M2 is equal to Kb into W2 into 1000 upon delta Tb into W1, where Kb is equal to molar elevation constant. M2 is equal to molar mass of the solute. W1 is equal to mass of the solvent. W2 is equal to mass of solute. Delta Tb is equal to elevation of boiling point. Determination of molar mass by Landsberger-Walker method. M2 is equal to 1000 into W2 into Kb upon delta Tb W1. Freezing point depression. Freezing point is the temperature at which the solid and liquid state of the substance are in equilibrium. That is, they have the same vapor pressure. There is a depression of freezing point of solvent when a non-volatile solute is dissolved in it. If T0 is a freezing point of pure solvent and T that of solution, then T is lesser than T0. The freezing point depression is 
delta Tf is equal to T0 minus T. Depression in freezing point of solution is proportional to the total molal concentration of the solution. That is, delta Tf is proportional to M, where M is equal to molarity. Therefore, delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. Kf is the molal depression constant or the freezing point depression constant. Depression of freezing point and molar mass of the solute. M is equal to mass of the solute upon molar mass of the solute into mass of the solvent into 1000. M is equal to W2 upon M2 W1 into 1000. Therefore, delta Tf is equal to Kf into W2 upon M2 into W1 into 1000 as delta Kf is equal to Kf into M or M2 is equal to 1000 Kf W2 upon delta Tf W1. Determination of molar mass of solute Beckman's method Principle Freezing point of liquid is determined by a special thermometer called as Beckman's thermometer. It determines correctly delta Tf, the depression of freezing point. The pure liquid is allowed to supercool to about 0.5 K below its freezing point. The vigorous stirring then causes the separation of the solid and the temperature rises and remains constant at the freezing point of the liquid. Similarly, freezing point of the solution and depression of the freezing point, delta Tf, is determined. M2 is equal to 1000 Kfw2 upon delta Tfw1 grams per mole. Osmosis and osmotic pressure. Semi-permeable membrane. A membrane which allows only the solvent molecules to pass through it in either direction but prevents the solute molecules from penetrating through it is called as a semi-permeable membrane. Osmosis The spontaneous flow of solvent molecules through a semi-permeable membrane into the solution or from a solution of lower concentration to the solution of higher concentration is called osmosis. The excess of pressure on the side of the solution that stops the net flow of the solvent into the solution through a semi-permeable membrane is called osmotic pressure. Isotonic solutions Two or more solutions exerting the same osmotic pressure are called isotonic solutions. Hypertonic solutions A solution having osmotic pressure higher than that of another solution is said to be hypertonic with that solution. Hypotonic solution A solution having an osmotic pressure lower than that of the another solution is said to be hypotonic with that solution. Measurement of osmotic pressure by Berkeley and Hartley's method This method is based on the principle that osmotic pressure is equal to the external pressure applied to stop the flow of the solvent towards the solution through a semi-permeable membrane. The external pressure thus applied to prevent the passage of the solvent into the solution is the osmotic pressure pi of the solution. Laws of osmotic pressure Van Hoff Boyle's law The law states that at constant temperature the osmotic pressure of a dilute solution is directly proportional to its molar concentration. That is, pi is directly proportional to C. C is equal to N upon V. Therefore, pi is directly proportional to N upon V. Pi V is equal to constant. Van Hoff Charles Law The law states that the concentration remaining constant, the osmotic pressure of a dilute solution, is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Pi is directly proportional to T at constant concentration or pi upon t is equal to constant. Van Hoff's general solution equation. Pi v is equal to rt. Pi v is equal to nrt. Or pi is equal to n upon v rt. Therefore, pi is equal to crt. Determination of molar mass from osmotic pressure. By using the following equation, molar mass of the solute can be calculated. M2 is equal to 
W2 RT upon pi V, where W2 is equal to weight of the solute dissolved. Abnormal osmotic pressure due to association and dissociation. In some cases it was observed that osmotic pressure is higher or lower than expected value. In such cases, molecular state of the solute does not remain the same when it is dissolved in a solvent. It either dissociates or associates, resulting in either more or less number of solute particles than actually dissolved. This gives abnormal colligative properties and hence osmotic pressure. Dissociation Molecules of some substances dissociate in solution. Therefore, total number of particles increases in the solution, hence the osmotic pressure. Association of solute In some non-polar solvents, certain molecules associate to form bigger molecules. This association is due to hydrogen bonding between these molecules. Hence, number of solute particles are reduced and thus osmotic pressure of these solutions will be less than expected.